from the grill. Oh my gosh, it looks so wicked like that. Real quick before we get started with today's video, just want to tell you Tristan and I's brand new podcast, The Banger Podcast, has its very first episode. It's live. Uh, yeah, very first podcast. How do you feel? I feel like, um, I don't know. Dude, okay, so it's, first of all, well, I, well, okay, so first of all, <laughs> We only we only ordered one uh, <laughs> headphones because we weren't we, sure what no, headphones it was, was not be the best. we bro it was I said Tristan Time out. headphones I don't know what camera to look at right now there's so <laughs> many we have a bonus for you we're bringing on the beefcake flare on our next episode tomorrow that wow. bitch running <laughs> ooh that bitch running have you seen that <laughs> what the f are you guys talking about <laughs> so. After you get done watching this video, go subscribe to the Banger Podcast. It'll be linked in the description below. What's up, guys? Brandon J. Today, we're going to be diving down looking for Taco, also known as Octopus, out here on the desert side of Hawaii. Now, if there's one thing I've learned about the Big Island in Hawaii, it is you have to hike to get to the best spots. They're all super remote. It seems like the closest road to any of the good spots on the shoreline are miles. So Ryan and I geared up, we packed all the way down here. And on our hike, we were greeted by a bunch of giant humpback whales jumping and breaching out there on the deep end. So while the mission is to dive down and try to find an octopus, one thing Ryan said is while we're deep underwater, we will be able to hear the whales that are migrating through this area. What I'm really hoping for though, is to be able to see a few of them. They could buzz right beside us or even deep below us, but it would be so cool to experience my first whale in the water out here on the coast of Hawaii. So Taco live on like these nice coral gardens out here and we're gonna be looking for those first, but due to the conditions out here, it might be pretty difficult today. So if we don't see any Taco, we're gonna try and put Brandon on some new species that he's never speared before. Yeah, he wasn't lying about the conditions. <laughs> it's a little more rough than we'd hoped for, but I think it's still gonna be cool to get out the water, search for the octopus, something I've always wanted to experience, and then even be greeted by a few whales. It's gonna be an absolutely crazy day either way, but let's hop in the water, see what we can find, and even more importantly, see what we can spear. So here I'm diving down. Ryan is going to be pointing out the octopus in today's video. It is super hard to find them, but he points at these little cracks. I dive down there and try to get them out. So this octopus is super hard to see, but he's kind of purple. He'll change a white color when I touch him. And this technique is called tickling the taco. We have a three prong here and you basically just have to be super annoying. Just kind of keep jabbing at them. And the goal is to get the taco to come out of the hole and then you have to grab them by the head. This ink right here always freaks me out and catches me super off guard, but this is their defense mechanism and you can see why it works so, so well. What the heck? <laughs> I could it, bro. That was so, I mean, it was such a weird moment. <laughs> back for another dive here again all of this is around 40 to 60 foot of water so you can see that guy go back into that hole he's purple that dark purple color and i'm just waiting for him to pop out but this spot's difficult because there's multiple ways he can go out of here he's starting to creep and then he smoke screens me again it's a big problem and then he runs down the rock Here's a slow-mo with the not -a cam footage and you can see him just kind of escaping, but there's so much of that black ink and that is their escape mechanism and it's working flawlessly. My GoPro broke. Well, it stopped, my GoPro on my head stopped working and then the actual clip broke too. So now I'm on this GoPro, which is like a head mount thing, but it doesn't really stick to my head that good. So forgive me, but Operation Taco is in full effect. <laughs> We are in one of the most beautiful spots 
out here on the island just crazy edges we got a tundra and check this out we still have a decked drawer system out here it's justin one of the guys that we're going to be diving with but very very cool to see the deck drawer system out here on the beautiful coast of hawaii so whether you're in a beautiful island of hawaii or you're back in the mainland one thing i've learned is if you love adventure you naturally love gear and if you love your gear you'd love to protect it and you definitely have to find a way to store it and that's why decked is the sponsor of today's video decked is the ultimate back of the truck organization system with two full-size drawers that can hold 200 pounds a piece. Occasionally I'll lock cameras, laptops, and other sensitive equipment in these drawers because I don't have to worry about the elements getting to them. These drawers are weatherproof, so even without a topper, the rain is not gonna get them. But if you just close your tailgate and lock it, you cannot remove the drawers or items in them without removing the tailgate and the whole system with it. They're so easy to order for your specific truck and bed size that, well, we, uh, <laughs> we bought two of them. Good oh boy. <laughs> this one holds a 60 pound golden retriever, but you could have 2000 payload capacity on top of the deck drawer system. They're 100% made in the USA. I've used this one every single day for a year of heavy use, and I just got that one installed, and they look identical. So you guys can grab your deck drawer system at deck.com slash Brandon. That's going to get you free shipping decked. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. And thanks for making my life easier on the road and on all my adventures. Here's another taco. This one turns super white. Check this out. The first poke, boom. The thing goes from purple to white instantly. And then the tentacles start to go out. This part is super freaky. And he actually grabs onto the spear here. I try to get him out that way, but... That's just a rookie move. It's not going to work. You got to wait for them to come all the way out. I'm running out of breath, so I go to the surface. At this point, I'm getting pretty frustrated with all these taco. This is super hard. I'm running out of oxygen so fast because I'm just going crazy down there. I know at this point, I'm going to get one of these things. It's still freaky, but if they give me the opportunity to grab one by the head, I'm gonna take it at this point. I get a little hung up there, and I have to go up to get air, and I come back down for round two. This guy does not like the tickle technique. He starts inking early, and then he jumps out. I almost got him right there, but then I get smoke screened, and I'm all confused. So if you check this out, he smoke screens me. I grabbed the head, but he just slipped right off. I thought he went back down, and he actually zoomed to the right past me. So that's a perfect example of how the smoke screen works. I'm still looking for him, and he's way off to my right, completely safe. This is just incredibly difficult. These things are so, so smart and I am becoming much more serious. After that last one and touching the octopus for the first time, I'm not letting this one get in the way. I'm in a mental state going down here. It's like, I'm getting this octopus. This spot is a little difficult though because he could exit out of the back of the rock or the side. So I'm just hoping he comes my way and then I could grab him. So I reach in there, I finally grab the octopus head and I have to shake it. I was instructed to shake it so basically his tentacles can't wrap all around you. This guy did get speared. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's so strong. He's so strong. What the heck? Oh my god! Oh, he's so strong! That one! Now what do you do? We did it after many, many tries. Finally, freaking got one. I got this guy right here, man. How unreal. I'm wearing him on the belt. This is the fish belt. Ryan normally swims around with a fish just in case we get attacked by sharks, but I was so proud of the octopus. I was like, yo, Ryan, 
let me get that taco on a string. I gotta wear it. He's like, dude, I got you, man. So we completed the taco mission. We're gonna get to cook this guy up. I'm so excited. Our walk down here, just whales, just breaching, going crazy. The taco after taco, my GoPro broke. I was struggling. I was like so defeated. I legitimately wanted to give up. Like I really did. And Ryan was like, bro, you got this. I even told Ryan, I was like, please just, just get us one. Like, I, I, you catch it. I just need one for the video. I was trying so hard. And uh, he's like, no, bro, this is all you. You got it. And then I finally got one. I finally got one and I'm gonna swim in. We had this manta ray. It was beautiful. It's like, ah, so cool. What was interesting there is because we kept finding the tacos on top of like harder rocks, they were a lot harder to extract. You know, at the end there, we were kind of over that gravelly section that I was looking for. And when they're back in there and they're tucked in their little gravel hole, they just seem to be a lot easier to tickle out. Yeah, I would try to get them here and then they would go out that way or go out yeah. that way. It was so hard. Normally they got their one little hole and they just poke, poke, poke. And as soon as they're out, you grab and you're done. Yeah, man. But you were a little afraid there. I was, I was, man. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not ashamed. I was scared, dude. All I've seen is like on the Discovery Channel, they have like giant beaks and I was scared it was gonna bite me. And I also never like knew what they felt like, but when I grab the head, it's like really bulby and it's pretty firm. And I just expected this weird goop of slime and it wasn't that at all, but it was so strong. It started to crawl up my arm. And I was like, ah! <laughs> it was wild, but they're so, so strong. Ryan told me about the manta rays. On the belly of a manta ray, it actually has a very unique pattern. It's almost like the human thumbprint. Every single manta ray is different. Every human thumbprint is different. So that was a small manta ray and they actually have a system where you can go through and see if that manta ray has ever been named. We got a photo on the Nauticam of the stomach of the manta ray. So if it's not named, Ryan and I can come up with a name to name that manta ray. It was young, it's on the edge of the earth, let alone taking a picture of the belly and naming it is pretty small. So we could name a manta ray. So drop some comments in the comment section below what you guys want the manta ray to be. <laughs> and I'll update you guys on my Instagram if we find out that it's unnamed. I'll let you guys know what we named it. But unreal, look at the swell, dude. The surf is popping. The octopus are tacoing and the whales are whaling. And uh, I think it's time for us to uh, start cooking. Looks like some alien versus predator, bro. <laughs> well, I'm out of breath. <laughs> we came to a new side of the island. Ryan is currently whipping us up a nice fire. And uh, I'm out of breath because I was trying to get the sunset. It was beautiful. I was working on getting the drone. I finally got the drone up. No fly zone. Imagine that. So it's obviously a different time, different place. That's because we had to prepare the octopus to be able to eat it. Now, when I say prepare the octopus, I really mean it. It was absolutely disgusting. Ryan did most of it, and thank God he did. I was telling him, I was like, if I had to do that, I probably would not be able to eat it. It was disgusting. You, what was the, what was it called? Okay. So, you gotta loan me, loan me the, the taco. Okay. So you know how like a cat makes biscuits on you like that? Yeah, yeah. It's like that, and it, it de-slimes them, so it breaks it up a little bit and it cuts out the slime. I was pouring salt on this thing while he was in the sink with it. And then he was just, I was like, what are you doing? He was like, I'm de-sliming it. I was like, how do you know when it's de-slimed? He was like, it's not as slimy then. I was like, was oh my gosh. So it was disgusting, but uh, luckily I didn't get to participate in that. So I will get to eat this without a um, conflicted interest of knowing how gross the de-sliming process was. But check this spot out, it's beautiful. It's one thing about Hawaii, it feels like every time you end up going to the edge of the water, it's the most beautiful place. I've fallen in love with I think 10 places on this island. Every time I go to a new one, I'm like, wow, maybe this one is the most beautiful. I'll go to the next one, I'll be like, no, nah, no, nah, this one's the most beautiful. Every time, happens every single time. But let's hop back over to the fire. I think we've got to get the octopus out of the pot and well, it's a gross thing, but I've heard it is a delicacy. I've had octopus before, just never like this. Oh my gosh, bro. That's it, man. That's it, oh this is a delicacy. God. You don't know how lucky you are. <laughs> oh, yes. Wow. Going hands-on, huh? She hot. 
from the grill. Oh my gosh, it looks so wicked like that. So it's ready to eat, huh? That's it, bro. Oh my gosh. I've always had this fry, man. I've never had it like fire charred, you know? Even better. <laughs> Some of that Samagram chimichurri. That smells much better than octopus, whatever that is. Bro, just wait. <laughs> just <laughs> wait. This is our favorite thing. Smells way better. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. You eat first. Give me, give me your camera. All right, I'm gonna go with some tentacles right here. It's not. Terrible. It's Delicious. actually pretty good. I was actually scared. <laughs> I was actually scared when you were desliming it. I was very worried. Yeah. But it's not bad. It's fantastic. I mean, chimichurri makes it. Could have definitely been charred for another minute. But that's unbelievable. Well, an end to a magical day for sure. It started off going down the cliff which was a lot of work. We had all the gear, it was hot. We were walking on lava and rocks and all types of crazy stuff. Then the whales just busting off in the distance. It was so magical. And when we got in the water, what we thought was gonna be a rough day turned into a crystal clear one. And try after try and failure after failure, I finally ended up getting my octopus, which was a super special moment in itself. It's something that I've always wanted to do. For some reason, I've always been so fascinated by octopus. Not only are they incredibly smart, but they're just so freaking cool. And I learned today, they are very strong as well. Even though mine was a little bit smaller, it still grabbed my arm and had so much power. Although the preparation was a little bit uh, too gross for my liking, the actual taste of the octopus is still one I'm gonna have to get used to. It was good, but it's just a little strange to me. From whales, octopus, to even a small manta ray, today was absolutely magical. And I'm even more thankful I had Ryan by my side helping me throughout all of these journeys. I truly could not do any of this without his help. Not only is he a world-renowned free diver, spear fisherman, he's also a great cameraman. He's also a really great fire starter and an amazing catch and cook partner. So he's done a ton for me on these videos. He has a YouTube channel as well. And I'm not just saying that the dude's bumping on YouTube. He surpassed hundred thousand subscribers. He's making really great content. So if you want to check out his channel and do me a favor because he's doing me such a solid, it'll be linked in the description below. He has really allowed all of these magical moments to happen. And for that, I'm truly grateful. With that being said, it's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, We'll catch you on the next adventure. Peace out. Just more of a sentimental piece and kind of, I don't know, I wanted to throw it in here. I've always wanted some really cool underwater tattoos, kind of like Aquaman style, just of all my adventures. And two tattoos that I've always wanted is an octopus, like a realistic octopus on my leg. And I've also wanted a stingray on the front of my shin. And the fact that we got to encounter both today in such a special way my first octopus and my first time swimming with a manta ray i might just have to get those tattoos to commemorate this moment it just feels right two tattoos that i've always wanted and today i ran into both of those creatures just never felt right to get an octopus tattoo when i've never even seen an octopus underwater but now that we're going to eat one i feel like it's right to kind of share that art on my body by the way i don't have any tattoos so it's kind of a big deal